I know, I know people want to no, be no, me, no, no, Mr. No. Speaker. Order. <laughs> Member, between the seat for a moment. I invite the House to take a deep breath and come to order. I actually called question number seven, not question number nine. The Honourable Tony. Speaker. Henry. A man before his time, sir. Mr. Speaker, what progress has the government made towards its aspirational goal of settling historical Treaty of Waitangi claims? by 2014. Mr. Mr Speaker, very good progress. In December last year, the government signed deeds of settlement with Ngāti Pūrō, Ngāti Pahuera and Rangataniga Wairau. The government also initialed deeds of settlement with Ngāi Tumanahiri, Ngāti Makino and Reriahu over the Marairoa Blocks claims. And I'd, I had just mentioned to Mr Horamia in passing that his associate, Mr Jones, said on Tuesday that these were small and insignificant iwi. Perhaps he should tell Mr Mahuika that. The Honourable Tohenare. Mr Speaker, why is the government committed to reaching durable settlements of historic grievances? The Honourable Crispin. Mr Speaker, among other things, treaty settlements provide a regional economic stimulus that creates jobs, boosts investment and lays the foundation for future economic prosperity for Māori and non-Māori. That's why this government is committed to the expeditious completion of durable settlements and has devoted fresh energy to this important area and why in two years uh, we have achieved as much as Labour did in nine. The Honourable Parakura Horomia. Mr Speaker, will the Minister give the House his assurance that he will discourage government members from cutting short select committee processes on the settlement bills in the way they did on the marine and coastal area Tagutai Moana Bill? The Honourable Chris Finlayson. Uh, members of the Maori Affairs Select Committee, of which this member is one, will always give very careful consideration to treaty settlement bills. Question number eight, the Honourable David 